What is porphyritic texture? Porphyritic texture is a type of texture commonly found in igneous rocks. It is characterized by the presence of large crystals, called phenocrysts, surrounded by a finer grained matrix known as ground mass. The phenocrysts are often several times larger than the ground mass crystals, and their size and shape can provide valuable information about the history of the rock's formation. Porphyritic texture typically forms when magma cools and crystallizes in two stages. During the first stage, the magma cools slowly deep within the Earth's crust, allowing large crystals to form. These large crystals settle to the bottom of the magma chamber, where they continue to grow as the remaining magma cools and solidifies around them. In the second stage, the remaining magma rapidly cools and solidifies near the surface of the Earth. The resulting rock is fine-grained and forms the matrix, or ground mass, surrounding the large phenocrysts. Porphyritic texture can be further classified based on the size and arrangement of the phenocrysts within the ground mass. For example, if the phenocrysts are uniformly distributed throughout the ground mass, the texture is called equigranular porphyritic. If the phenocrysts are arranged in a linear fashion, the texture is called aphytic porphyritic. Other classifications include glomeroporphyritic, where the phenocrysts form clusters or aggregates, and poikilitic porphyritic, where the phenocrysts include inclusions of the surrounding ground mass. Porphyritic texture is not limited to one type of igneous rock. It can be found in a variety of rocks, including granites, basalts, andesites, and rhyolites. The presence of porphyritic texture in a rock can provide important clues about the rock's formation, such as the cooling rate of the magma and the depth at which it's solidified. How is porphyritic texture formed? Porphyritic texture is a type of texture that is commonly found in igneous rocks. It is formed through a two-stage process of magma cooling and crystallization. During the first stage, magma slowly cools and solidifies deep within the Earth's crust. This slow cooling allows large crystals, called phenocrysts, to grow within the magma. These phenocrysts can be composed of a variety of minerals, depending on the composition of the magma. For example, in granite, the phenocrysts may be composed of minerals such as quartz or feldspar, while in basalt, the phenocrysts may be composed of minerals such as olivine or pyroxene. As the remaining magma cools and solidifies around the phenocrysts, it forms a finer grained matrix, known as ground mass. The ground mass can also be composed of a variety of minerals, depending on the composition of the magma. The size of the phenocrysts relative to the size of the ground mass varies depending on the cooling rate of the magma. If the cooling rate is slow, the phenocrysts will have more time to grow and will be larger relative to the ground mass. If the cooling rate is fast, the phenocrysts will be smaller relative to the ground mass. During the second stage of the cooling process, the remaining magma cools rapidly near the Earth's surface, forming a fine-grained matrix around the large phenocrysts. This matrix, or ground mass, can be composed of the same minerals as the phenocrysts, but in a much smaller size. The two stages of cooling result in a rock with large phenocrysts embedded in a finer-grained matrix, giving it a porphyritic texture. Porphyritic texture can be further classified based on the size and arrangement of the phenocrysts within the ground mass. Different types of porphyritic texture include aphytic porphyritic texture, in which the phenocrysts are arranged in a linear fashion, and glomeroporphyritic texture, in which the phenocrysts form clusters or aggregates within the ground mass. Porphyritic texture is commonly found in a variety of igneous rocks, including granite, basalt, andesite, and rhyolite. The presence of porphyritic texture in a rock can provide important information about its formation, including the cooling rate of the magma and the depth at which it's solidified. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications.